make your way all right. Cause it's come to dance and make ooh, your way to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Daniel. Woo! Woo! Hey, you know, wait. I can actually take this opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do. Hey, Mom! I'm finally on the internet. And more importantly, it didn't take porn to do it. So, yeah, 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 bad joke, bad joke. All right, well, what I'm going to tell you guys about is, actually, I do work out at Scarborough Fair. I also work at a haunted house. Oh, and I'm telling you, my job interview for the haunted house from, from my good friend, Alan Hops, who works at the Trail of Terror, this was my job interview. We're in the back of the fair. We're all relaxing. Hops comes walking up to me and he goes, hey, Ryan. Yeah. Do you like, to, what do you think of haunted houses? I hate them. I don't like being scared. I have bad fear reactions. He looks at me and goes, we'll talk in October. I look over at my wife. I'm like, did I just have a job interview? And my wife looks at me and goes, yeah, and I pretty much lost you all of October, too. Great. No, 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 it was great. It's been a fun time. There is, I love fair, but God, there is nothing like a haunt story. Because they're hysterical and they're funny and everything. And I have to tell you this, about a year ago, was the fourth year I was doing the Trail of Terror, it was kind of a werewolf, German, black forest theme. Now, oh, yeah. Now, here comes the fun part. In when you're doing with a haunted house, what you find out is there's really four type of patrons that come in. This night, I got three out of four. Sometimes you get two. So I'm going to actually tell you about this night. It was the Ryan's Wacky Haunt Night, and I love it for this. Before we do this, I have to do the disclaimer. In no way am I a representative of the Trail of Terror Incorporated. <laughs> and no, by no means am I a role model. If that, clear, if that makes sure everything gets cleared this way, I don't get yelled at by a very strong Alan Hops. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Right <laughs> that might mean I might last five seconds with him instead of two. All right. <laughs> I ain't far from truth. So what we got, the first one is the one is, if, I, if you come to a haunted house, I'm either going to scare the crap out of you or I'm going to make you laugh. And in this instance, we got a good old boy coming right through the haunt and everything. Oh, yeah, with his wife and everything. Oh, oh and he's having a good old time. At which point, our, one of our tech guys yells out there very much and yells a classic answer is, you know, I'm going to follow you home. To, I'm going to follow you home and I'm going to eat Cheetos on your bed. Ain't it though? <laughs> oh, it gets better because our good our good good old boy responds back with, "You ain't know where I live." And before I can control myself, I respond it out loud with, "You mean it's the triple wide with the, that's up on blocks with the Ford?" <laughs> now, here comes the scary part, ladies and gentlemen. There's that one moment of silence, and then you hear from the good old boy go. That's not right. You know where I live. <laughs> Needless to say, for the next 30 seconds, there was a verbal play-by-play -play that continued on for a while. Now, a little bit later, we get the second type of customer that comes in. Now, this is the male who has a bad fear reaction. This means he wants to beat the tar out of whoever's going to come into the haunted house that's scaring him. I don't know why you come to a haunted house if you want to prove your manhood. There's a lot of easier and better ways to do this. Go play pool or golf or something. Yeah. Love you, honey. So wh what happens is I'm moving in there. I'm moving through my little cutaway, and I hear this large man yelling at one of our other performers, a good friend of mine by the name of Kit. He and he's pretty – I poke my little head through the corner – and I see the kid's gotten himself cornered by a rather tall, six foot tall, six foot two, no neck man with his girlfriend who's a little petite and pretty and everything else. <laughs> At which point he is yelling and braiding him. So I pop in again, you know, me not thinking, when does that ever stop me? And go, I'm sorry, have you finished proving your manhood to your girlfriend? Can you move along, please? Whoa. Now, do you understand the purpose of that? <laughs> I'm not done yet. 
<laughs> Warning. <laughs> At which point, he turns on to me, Kit, escapes out like we're trained to do. He starts getting into my face and starts yelling at me, and all I'm doing, five foot nothing to six foot two, move along, sir. Move along, sir. This is the point where I actually get stupid and kind of point my finger in his face and go, move along. Now, he, I can tell in his eyes, he's about ready to swing. There are really three thoughts that are crossing my head, face. First one is, I'm about to get punched and not be pretty anymore. <laughs> Number two is, God, I hope I can get this mask off really fast. And three is, man, I'm gonna have to spend time in Ellis County Jail and that's just not cool. No, it ain't. But I hear the breakfast is really great. <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> now, fortunately, a rather tall man by the name of Jesse came in and distracted the guy, and which point dissuaded him off. Now, the third one, and this is the one where Russ is probably going to throw a chair at me on this one. <laughs> oh, he'll throw TJ. The third one is this is your fear reaction. This is where we've getting people good and scared. We've hit them there, and they're running and everything, and I promise you, if you ever come to a haunted house with me, guys, you run in front of me, and you turn into a rabbit, I'm gonna chase you all the way through that haunt. <laughs> oh, I love, oh, I love a rabbit that runs. But, in this instance, these people are screaming, going, oh God, oh God, oh God, and other people, not me, don't throw anything, was yelling out, you know, such lines as, you know, God's not here right now, your son of a carpenter's not here. <laughs> oh. Sorry, rough crowd. At which point, they get to the end of the haunt. The girl, the kid gets there. You can hear the <gasps> Thank God. And yet again, this is me not being smart. I actually pop off with, and where was your God now? Oh. Would you like to hit me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Legs, while you're up here, can you strip? I tried. At which point, the kid comes back, and this is where I get my payback. I got excommunicated. I revoke you, not rebook, revoke you. <laughs> At which point, I'm laughing, my friend's laughing, everybody's laughing, and the kid, I could just hear him like a little chipmunk going, meow, 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 meow. All right, the last one, and I don't understand this, ladies. I don't understand this, but apparently the last one is a fear reaction of, of women pulling their shirt in, flashing. I'm not kidding. I've never, now, I'm the only person in this entire haunted park that's never had boobs. Huh? Uh, go work at it, man, it's a great job. Seriously, they flash. I'm not kidding. I've never had it happen to me. I've done it for four years, never. You miss it every time. Exactly. Hey, 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 hey. You're not doing your job if I don't see it. So, now, the funny part is that there was this one time. Oh! I have seen male boobs, though, at a haunted house. Now, I will say, though, there was this one time, this nice, beautiful redhead, very beautiful, leather, high heels, left her boyfriend at the front to come see little old me, comes walk right on in, and, well, you know, guys, if y'all want to hear what happens next, I guess maybe I'll have to come up here some other time or doing that thing or, or come up at some time in that thing we don't talk about. Woo! And that was my wacky night. <laughs>